you know, to Disable bypass that, since yeah. you've already disarmed it. And, okay. um... Is it locked? Yeah. It is not locked. Alright, open it up. And, uh... I'll, uh, give him the signal to come forward. Okay. Is that what creeps on up? Is it, was that the signal with the light? Because that was brilliant. Yeah, that's that's going to be the standard signal now. <laughs> when I want yeah. you to move up. Love double it. double flash. Okay. As you you enter this room, see it's a um stretched out in front of you a good distance. Um, there's as as you saw leading up to the room down the corridor. There's the low, single set of tracks in the Spinnigan. As you're following them across the room here, does this look yeah, like the me, jail cell section? Let me, section do, a, let me again? do a sketch. Let me do a sketch. Yeah. The sitting on tracks come over this direction. I'm, I'm also I'm flipping back and forth so I'm seeing can see what exactly what you can see also. So right. I know what to, how much to describe. Um, see the tracks they move over in this direction and then they um, they pace. It looks like they go back and forth, back and forth like it was pacing. But mm -hmm. never, they don't go past that, that little that section. area. Okay. They don't go in the last 15 feet of the room. Okay. This southern section, does this look like another one of those jail cell areas where bars are ripped out again? Um, it, the bars were much wide, more, in this little spot, the bars are much more widely spaced. Um, and, uh, it looks more like it may have been a storage space rather than uh, uh, a cell. Okay. Seeing the tracks, I'm going to uh, start inspecting the floor for traps or whatever. Something didn't want to move closer to it, and I want to. I'm going to assume trap in the area first. Okay. You searching. You're, you're the floor mostly. Real this, you're looking at the scene. floor, checking the stones. You don't. Everything looks looks just normal, um, like the rest of the flooring throughout the area. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll uh I'll keep checking as I as I'm moving forward. Okay. And seeing the couple chests uh, in there. There are two chests here. Um, they they both um, have uh, some some very deeply graven um, markings along the rims, um, along the metal rim of you know, supporting the wooden lids um, and the base of the actual box of the chest. Um, like runes? The, the, or... metal, the metal framing is really thick and the and these markings are, are cut very deeply into this, into the metal. Like, I mean, a quarter of an inch deep. Okay. I'll check the uh, southern trap for checks. Traps, southern chest for traps. Okay. Uh, checking, checking out. You spend a couple, couple minutes, and doesn't appear to be trapped. Um, it is locked, and it's a very, it's a high quality lock. High quality lock. Okay. I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a shot. I'm gonna try and open. Open locks, minus 
Okay. You have to fiddle with it for a bit, and then you you're noticing as you, as you're you're working on the lock itself that inside a couple of the rooms just above the lock are a couple there's a couple little holes, and you you take like the back side of when you pick and you push in those on those two holes, and it pops open for you. Cool. I'll uh, flip it open like I did before with the uh, short sword. Okay. Technique. Um. There's uh, there's a, a good sized pile five. of coins in here. Probably four or five times as many coins as in the the first chest that you found. Okay. Um, uh, they're they're mixed. They look like they're mixed between um, copper, silver, maybe some platinum mixed in there also. Um, mm. There's quite a bit of copper and silver, um, and as you're you're poking, you can see a um, uh, the knob, the knobby catch of a um, a platinum torque with some very fancy engravings spiraling around it, sticking up out of the coins on one. In you know, one corner of the chest. All right, I'll go over and check the uh, northern chest for traps. Okay. okay. Um. I need to check something real quick. Hang on. Well, the save versus save versus rod staffs and wands. Okay. Um, save. Uh, you got it in three separate things. So it's any one of them. Uh, yeah. Well, rod staff. Uh, just staffs. Saves. Okay, as you're approaching, you, you feel a little conflicted for a moment. Um, and it makes you a little, like your head swim, you get a little sense of, of vertigo. Um, you're looking at the chest in front of you. Um, this chest, it seems to have um, uh, very distinctively the the markings in the bind in the metal binding on this chest appear to be of all of the bright order priesthoods. Um, you recognize Zilpha's symbol um, is the bright order of artists. You see, you see the uh, there are several different iterations of the um, holy symbol of Latex um, mm -hmm. in the in these moved in mm -hmm. these markings and the others. You recognize that they're all the very much the bright order type. Okay. Uh, holy symbol. I'll check. It's into the binding I'll metal. Check training. out the traps. There's not appear to be any traps. Is it locked? No, it is not. I'll uh, flip it open. Okay. What's inside? All that you see in this in the chest is a single staff. Um, it's uh, a staff. This, this chest is a bit longer than the other chest was, but oh, okay. Um, it's uh, it's about it's about five feet long. Um, it's a smooth. Kind of a darker wood you don't recognize right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, it has silver end caps and eight silver ribbons spiraling down the sh the sh length of the staff between the two end caps. Take so. So I see him coming in. He's like, I was just getting ready to signal you guys. This chest should be safe now. Um, although this one uh, this one had some runes on it, but it should be. Uh, I'll call out to Zilpha to come on up. Looks like some uh, runes from symbols from your god and others. 
It looks like there's a staff inside of it. The other one has a bunch of gold. Is there anything besides the gold in the southern one? There is the um, torque, platinum torque. Oh, the platinum torque. Okay. I'll uh, appraise the torque. Okay. Oh, it's not sure about that one. It's 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 so extravagant. The materials are so rare. You're looking at it. The um, the knobs on the end that rest above the collarbone are um, the largest black opals you have ever seen. Um, the and the entire thing is just magnificent craftsmanship. The engraving is extremely ornate and very very precise. Um, and it's just it's. It's frankly so magnificent you can't you don't even have a, a basis to comp of comparison to give it a value. Yeah, I'll point Zofa to uh, the symbols in that on the northern chest. Okay. Um. Okay. And take Sorry, sense. I muted my are... mic. Um, I'll walk uh, up and look. Uh, what uh, kind uh, of roll do I need to make? Uh, hang on. We got multiple things happening here. You do not need to make a rule, Zofa. Um, and Tixos, you are picking up very strong magic from the chest. I'll, uh, you know, I see that glazed look in his eye like he's picking up in those kinds of things. Yeah, he, he's... I've, I've seen he's him do that before, focused. right? So yes. Yes. I'll uh, hold out the uh, torque. Something this fine might might have some kind of enchantment on it. Um, the torque itself does not appear to be enchanted. Tix isn't getting anything from that. Um, okay. who's doing what? What do I know from looking at the symbols? You said I didn't need to make a roll. Tell me what I know. Um, the, okay, the, the symbols are... This chest has the, all the different holy symbols marked on it, and they are all bright order. Okay. And specifically, neutral good. Okay. Okay, not just good, but neutral good. Um, the, the other chest, you don't recognize the markings. Um, they're very square and... Um, Hard edges on all the, the, the glyphs marking this chest. Uh -huh. um, this is only the holy symbol, all the holy symbols marked on it and the staff in it. And, and Sixos, oh, yeah, you're not detecting anything there, just in this chest with the staff. Okay. Now, hang okay. on. I want to make sure I, I, I understand what's happening because I'm a little confused. There are two chests, and Kavik has opened this one. I've opened Kavik up both of them. Oh, you've opened, you opened up both of them. Well, yes. what's inside the one on the north? This one just has a, the, the staff about five feet long with silver end caps and eight silver ribbons spiraling down its length from one cap end cap to the other. Does that mean anything um, to me? The is, wood is a, is, a, is a little bit of a darker, um, 
it's a darker type of wood. Uh, with the well, actually, now you've got the continual lights and stuff up in here. Um, it looks like it's probably made out of rowan wood. Okay. Um, but does it have does it have a particular affinity toward a particular deity? I mean, because when I see a staff with with things twined the, around it, I think healing. I mean, you know, maybe I'm too classical. No, no. Um, the the whole the symbols are marked on the chest itself, not on okay, the staff. not on the staff. Okay. Right. And Tixo said he picked up the stuff. Happened. Oh, okay. I'm missing some of the text in the uh, from graphical glitches. Hang on. I'm just gonna. Okay. Um, and Tixo, as you pick up the staff, it's um, it's very very solid. It's very it's relatively thin. Um, but it, it's very solid. It's like, it's almost more real than the, everything else around you. This sort of sensation you get. Um, and it, it's the, your, your arcane sensitivity and you've got your detect magic going is just almost going through the roof. Um, almost overwhelming at this point. <laughs> you okay, Antixos? Uh, yeah, I, I've never felt anything like this stuff before. It feels like it's a, a part of my body. Like I was missing my, my third leg all, all my life, and now here it is. Well... I'm glad you found the missing part of you. <laughs> but there's nothing else in this chest besides nope. that staff. Okay. Um, the symbols are all bright order. They're all bright order, but they're all specifically they all specific On neutral specific good. variations that denote not particularly lawful or not particularly chaotic, but neutral, lawful neutral. Now what I know about good, Antixos, sorry. Neutral good. what I know about Antixos, he's does he follow in that particular alignment? He is. He, is, he has very very similar values that, to you. Okay. So yeah, it makes sense that that feels good in his hand. Okay, good. Kavik, what do you find down here? I'm counting out the coin right now. It's yeah, just he's, coin. He's, he's counting through a lot of coin. Coin and that torque, um, but uh, I'm gonna have to get that torque appraised by someone. I examine the torque. Do I need to make a roll? Is there anything I recognize about it? It wasn't magical. But it maybe there's some religious significance. Um, give me a religion check, Zofa. Looking at the torque. I didn't put any modifiers. You didn't say, so I didn't. Nope. <clears throat> I'm happy okay. for Antixos. You recognize that the torque <clears throat> is um, a very ancient type of wedding an ancient form of a wedding necklace, wedding torque. Um, probably uh, the the very precise markings and stuff and all that indicate is probably from um, a uh, a noble a nobleman or noblewoman. Um, the uh, the particular styling makes you think Central Plains. Okay. I'll share that information. Um, I 
There's something special about this. <clears throat> In what way? It's it, it's 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 very meaningful. It's a wedding torque. Oh, wedding torque. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when you unite two souls together as one, that's very meaningful. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's just a piece of jewelry, right? No, it's a symbol of your union. Yeah, like I said, a piece of jewelry. Two souls become one. Two flesh become <laughs> one. Maybe Con that concept is going room right before. over Vic's head. Literally, it's just. Yeah, I was, like, was going to say, I don't okay, think so really cares. Yeah, it's. <laughs> well, well, cares about it's, it's pretty. Look how pretty it is. Yeah, it's it's nice. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the torque is the yeah the the, the torque is beyond extravagant. Um, I mean it's. Like, you, you know, uh, you guys, you guys encounter the Temples of Braid, how they collect art, arts and artistic pieces, and especially very particularly um, good pieces art and stuff. And this is this is this is the kind of piece of jewelry that Temples of Braid would would compete with each other to acquire. Well, that for should their make us museum happy. Museum collections. So, um, yeah, it's a damn fine piece. I mean, whoever, whatever woman or couple got this, I mean, it would be very nice. Okay, then. Well, self, it just doesn't hey. bother. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. All right, Zed, oh, what I need you to doing close some windows. There? They're getting in the way. How's it going, Zed? Uh, yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, I know. Erin, Dill, your ear is all filled up. And Tixos, are you what? attempting to focus your detect magic on the staff? Please say yes. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, you detect that the magic, the type of magic is necromantic in nature. Oh. Um, describe it again. The... Um, the the school of magic that the of the enchantment on the staff is necromantic. The physical appearance of the staff looks like. Oh, the physical appearance. It was wood with silver, like ribbons wrapped around it. Yeah. That's the physical appearance. Hey, Zilpha? Yeah, and Tixos. Uh, this stuff contains necromantic magic, but it looks pretty. <laughs> I'll come up. Would you mind if I held it for a minute? Here you go. I'll hold it for a minute. Okay. Do I feel the way um, he felt that I'm, like, complete... Yeah, well, it's it's not like you feel complete so much as that the staff seems to be more real than the rest of the world. Wow. Wow, Antixos. With reluctance, she hands it back over. I don't have any wisdom on that. I really don't. Do I need to make a roll? Before I comment on that, actually. <laughs> For what? Religion? I don't know. I mean, it feels more real than the rest of the world. That sounds religious to me. Hey, Zilpha. I got an idea. Tell me. What if you cast Detect Magic and you hold on to the staff and we'll see All what right. you detect from it? Because 
My wow. detect magic is different from your detect magic. Well, and Tixos, that's mighty wise of you. I will do so. So, what is that? Granted powers, detect magic. I will sacrifice one of my third level spells. Okay. I don't want to play. All right, 22 rounds. I'm going to focus everything I got on this staff. Okay. Um, you get, you similarly get the um, sensitives of very strong magic um, and mm -hmm. the uh, Um, you f you feel a um a shimmer like uh between the bands of the s that spiral down its length. There are um. Different, uh, you, 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 you're, 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 you're seeing what Antixos was, was pointing out about this, the sphere, the school being necromantic, but you're also, um, feeling more the positive side of that. Like um, healing necromantic or? My yeah, first like, reaction you know, was like healing. The, like the necromantic sphere or the healing sphere rather than the school? Yeah. Right. Because it's the priest version? Well, yeah, because the school of, of uh, that all be for wizards. Our most healing spells are in our, is necromantic. Yeah, yeah but, the but only wizards would detect that. Right. But so yeah, you're getting more of the, the healing and the, the healing side of it rather than the the negative energy side of the necromantic magic. Wow, I have Antixos, would you mind if I did a little experiment? Uh sure. I'm feeling oh, healing magic from this staff, which was, if you'll notice, my first reaction when I that, saw the silver bands. That would confirm my suspicions. I'm just curious what would happen if I cast a healing spell while I'm holding this staff. I, I noticed that I'm needing some hit points. I'll cast some healing on myself. I'm feeling kind of, I got boo-boos. Feeling kind of froggy? Yeah, I'm feeling kind of froggy. I, I'm just curious what would happen. So I'm going to cast Cure Light Wounds on myself. Do, do okay. I feel an increase of power or anything as I cast it? You do not. I do not. So as I cast Cure Light Wounds on myself, I don't get any bonuses to my healing spells. Well, it's quite possible that it's just a... Staff that heals people when you touch them with it. Maybe. I'm just asking if I cast Cure Light Wounds on myself, do I get a bonus to my healing spell? No, you don't. Okay. Go ahead and mark the spell and stuff. Okay, I am. I still have four spells. Okay, I'll add that. Who's got a boo-boo? Because -boo? I like the way Antixos is thinking. Kavik, you have a minor boo-boo. Yeah, it looks like much. looks like Arendil's missing quite a bit. <sighs> oh, let's go over to Arendil. Yeah, Arendil's looking kind of like he's got a he's got a boo boo on him. Did you add Whereas your three HP? He's got a scratch. Did you add your three HP? I did. Um, so I'm going to take this in my hand and I'm going to just feeling all of the healing power that artist brings to me. I'm going to touch. A Rendell with the staff and see if anything happens. Nothing happens. 
Maybe Why there's some. T- maybe there's says, some kind of command word that we gotta decipher by identifying it first. Like, try something like heal or cure light wounds or something like that as you touch him with it. I touch him and don't like go, be healed! <laughs> Nothing happens. Hmm. Heal! <laughs> Watch Sick Edward him. perk up and stand at attention. <laughs> <laughs> heal! Nothing happens? Oh, I forgot. Nope, he comes happens. up to your side and turns around and uh, Cure light wounds. Nothing happens. Cure um, moderate wounds. I don't even know that spell. I'm just hoping. You're finishing counting up all those coins about now, Kavik. That's what you yeah, found in, in that southern chest with the blocky engravings. Okay. Cure moderate wounds as I shout it and touch your endel does nothing. Nope, there's nothing. All right. Yeah, and Tixos, I think you might be right. We need to identify this thing, but as much as I hate to part with it, I'll put it back in your hands. But as she's passing it over, you notice it's like she puts it in his hands, but she doesn't quite let go. <laughs> but by a strength of will, she does. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I'll do it. Maybe it's because I'm a aware creature. Maybe if we had somebody that wasn't a aware creature that touched it, maybe it'd be better in Tixos. I don't when, know. These are things that these are things that occur to me. When Zulfa <laughs> had the. You were saying that it's. Un- Did I feel anything different in any? Good question. Reason. Um. Hang on a sec. Oh damn. Okay. Um. No, when she touched you with the staff, it there was. You didn't have any sort of reaction other than just feeling it touching you? Even when I whacked him on the skull and went, be healed? Nothing? (laughs) (laughs) He didn't fall out in the spirit? What is wrong with him? Elves, man. Elves. Women. (laughs) Watch out. Uh... The DM's a woman. Watch out. She has two X chromosomes. Watch out. Yeah, but she's not a player right now. <laughs> she can uh. kill you with a thought. Just saying. You're not any different. <laughs> okay. Um, K is right. Ugh. How are we going to divide this coin, Gavik? It seems like you've got all kinds of stacks. And... I think we're or... rich, guys. I think we're all rich. That's the split each. Nice. Otherwise, I'll miss my birth. Now, did you put the uh, the jewelry items in what party loot? Or no. How did you do no, it? No, it's that? until we get the jewelry items back to where it can be properly appraised and get a real value on them. Just hang on to them. Okay. So there's, they're not considered split yet. Okay. Right. I feel kind of rich, y'all. <laughs> Mm. 
Um, I can definitely upgrade Larry's farting. Long enough to get some place we can spend. I'm loving this adventure in the dungeon. We haven't had to fight anything, and we keep finding stuff. Let's keep this going. <laughs> this is like the this is like the I, I don't think you Let's had more than Zilpha, enough to fight last time. That. <laughs> don't say that, Zilpha. <laughs> I was I pretty sure you guys it. had rather more than you wanted to be able to be handling last time you guys were in here. <laughs> And Wendell, you don't know, in Josh's campaign, we fought all this scrap in the sewers, and then we spent, I'm not kidding you, three entire five-hour sessions just collecting loot. Yeah. <laughs> 16 <laughs> treasures. 16 different. Maybe plus it was 17. Plus one we left behind. Yeah. <laughs> plus one we left behind. Oh, and don't forget the eight, 18 gold from the other chest. So 18 oh, each. Oh, yeah. 18 gold. Yeah. Alright, you uh, love the dungeon, uh, you guys are in your mic. I already had 18 gold, now I have twice as much. Josh can tell you all about it. <laughs> You know, when I was holding that so, staff yeah. in my hands, I have this weird feeling. I'm not sure about it, but I think that even, like, a demon, like a spinagon, would be unable to get up close to the chest to see what was there. So, like, this held the spinagons off. Just saying. And Tixos. That's yeah. what was holding but it at the bay. Red, the red marks are the tracks from the Spinnigan that was in here before. And they never went within 15 feet of that chest. So that's <clears> nice <throat> to know. It looks like they paced back, back and forth right there, unable to get any closer to it. Nice. <clears throat> but f from feeling the staff, you expect that that was the reason. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'm staying within 15 feet of Antixos for the rest of this dungeon. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Just saying. Who, who actually is hanging on to the protection from lycanthropy? I think that was you. Well, you were. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you had a thought about it. The last one that had it. it and was looking at it was Antixos. I didn't know if he was still hanging on to it or... I mean, I had an idea, but... No, I gave they it back. I'd never okay. added it to my character idea. sheet. Okay, that's... That's what I'm, I'm just making sure. I mean, if someone else wants to have it or whatever, I'm, I'm fine with that. I just want to make sure it's tracked. But if you have an idea, yeah. I definitely want you to have it. I like your ideas. They've kept us alive so far. <laughs> Alrighty. So far. So far. Arendelle, you missed out. We almost died a couple of times. Oh, we I weren't know. even there against the orcs, man. I've there was seen. this guy who was with us, and he actually attacked the tower we were standing in. Oh, you've told me about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, a car who got uh, Josh's last kill. Yes. Thallion. Yeah, he and killed Thallion. And don't we forget were all the skeletons right in the. Uh, don't forget the skeletons in the orc. <laughs> oh area. my god. I had to drag your butt out of there. Yeah. Mm. True. Yeah, I've read the session logs and I've watched uh, the Get many more of these mm. stories and we'll have to hire a bird. Two players quit mid-session that session. <laughs> yeah, it's true. True story. So, what's next? Alright, um, well, we've checked out this lower area. Um... Let's uh, head up to the north. I actually I'm going to stick next to Antixos the entire time. <laughs> I, I actually have to look at going because my bus will be... Uh... Yeah, it's getting about that time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a long session, so we can pause here too, I guess. It's been a successful session. Yeah.
We've acquired <laughs> some good Lots of fat loot. So Texas yeah. has got a staff and a bag. Holy smokes. Well, he's temporarily holding the bag till we ID it. Yeah, I'm only holding on to the bag because you asked me to. And you were capable of carrying it. Unlike some <laughs> Looks at Kavik menacingly. Menacingly? I have to tell you guys. <laughs> You've kept me alive so me. long. I have nothing what's, evil what's to say What's the medicine look for? <laughs> yeah, for being yeah, small yeah. and weak. Um. That's all. Weak? <laughs> weak? <laughs> really? <laughs> Compared to me, you are. Oh, I'm getting backstabbed next week. And all the times I've saved your life. Week. You call me weak. <laughs> that hurts. You know, so. you know we're besties. You know we're besties. It's okay. She's doing right, that right here, work. right here, Zilpha, as I point to my chest. Right here, and I nod my head down, kind of in <laughs> mocking me. <laughs> She's doing the bestie poke thing. And as my head comes back, I got a grin. Because, you know, in my house, we only make fun of you if we love you. If, you, if we don't make fun of you, that means we don't like you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> We only pick on you if you're our friends. <laughs> you know? I thought I'd look back up with a smile on my face. Exactly. We're like, we understand okay. each other. For the sake of brevity and wrapping this up, you guys take a few minutes to cautiously move back up to the north end of the corridor. The corridor move goes up about 150 feet. Um, and then it, it turns sharply to the left twice. And then it turns back to the right, and it opens up into a large L-shaped room with a rough iron cage. Yes! Um, <laughs> with uh, a lot of scattered bones, um, and there, there's scorch marks on the walls and on all the bones inside the cage. Um, looks like where the the hellhounds have been kept. Um, yes. Hence all the tracks going back and forth, dragging them chunks of meat to feed them, etc. Um, nice. There's nothing much else of interest in there other than um, <clears throat> a, uh, a a very a strange implement <clears throat> that looks like what was probably used to put the um, iron rings into their necks in Ew. lieu of, of putting them on a, a collar on them. Um, it looks like it's designed to be put in with the iron, holding a red hot piece of iron that driven through and bent Aww. around all at once. Um, <clears throat> Poor little hellhounds. So that's that's all that you find in the chamber up there. You make your way back out towards uh, the entrance of the dungeon, and pause as um, we look at the cage. Zilpha points at the cage. She looks at Vic and goes, "Eh, eh," and then that's all she does. Yep. Then we're back to <laughs> restrain versus redirect. <laughs> but you fill that place with some sheep and crap. I can just totally go to town right in there. I have to eat. That's the one thing, Kavik. I have to eat. Well, cage I have still to work feed. that way. I have to feed. If I don't cage. feed, things go badly. <laughs> if it can hold a hellhound, it can totally hold me for real. <laughs> Well, I'm how much, now, how and much gold I will is in see a you guys later. How much gold Alrighty. per platinum? Alrighty. How much Take gold per platinum? Is, is the conversion correct? User disconnected from your channel. The currency conversion, conversion on, the, on the character sheet is correct, yeah. Okay. Wow, okay. Nice, good job. Cool. All right. Huh? I was punching in my XP for XP earned. Nice, that's right, because thieves, man. It's it's two for one, right? We get our loot, man, and we get XP out the butt. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, two for one, right? Two for one. Yes. Um, yeah, perceive. One to one for boards. Wait. Everyone else. That, that's for zero. thieves. Yeah, for thieves. Yeah, that's for thieves. I have a thief, and I have. I'm so grateful for that little rule. Otherwise, my little henchman would have left me by now. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yep. Oh, he would have left me a long time ago. <laughs> <clears throat> You've yeah, got to be I've like two full levels above him. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad now because I don't think I'm going to lose him for a while. They're kind of besties. We lost Arendel. He's gone. User yeah. disconnected from your yeah. channel. Um. Yeah, uh, oh, let me give you, uh, Vic. Let me give you the full description on that torque, so you. Okay. Thanks. There you go. User joined your channel. Stupid interwebs. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. Heard Hi. 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 Who leveled? Arendel leveled, but he doesn't get to enjoy that till next session. Anybody else level? Quick leveled again. 30,000 speed, just like that. Yeah. Are you freaking serious? No. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I was all excited. I was so excited for you. I was going to say, holy crap. Wait a minute. <laughs> there was more in that chest you than you thought. At? No. <laughs> Like, how did he get a hold of all yeah. this stuff without us looking? <clears throat> no, no, not quite. You're the highest level character in the campaign. You realize that, right? Yep. Okay, so who, just out of curiosity, who, uh, who got the trick before Antixos noticed it of what was going on with the bag of holding at first? I knew something was up. The inversion? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it totally bypassed Oh, not, not the inversion. I did not, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the little known but things I, about I, extra I, I dimensional pouch I mean, containers is if you turn them inside out, it immediately dumps everything that I, has I ever been put in them aspect. out. I didn't, I didn't think of I right. didn't think of why it'd be that without with the physical description that I got. I didn't have enough I, I didn't have enough clues to figure it out. I, Right. Well, I did. I did it. I did a secret yeah. observation yeah. check, and you failed that part of it. So. Gotcha. <laughs> no, that's that's cool. That's, I mean, it's all good. I mean, you provided it, and, you know, and I, yep. I, I, you know, like with the other people's, you know, suggestions too. I mean, I knew, kind of knew what it was too. And I was trying to figure out how to figure it out for my character because my character, like I said, had never heard of it before, you know. So I tried to yeah. play that aspect of not knowing. To the best of my ability on that, and I uh, thought it worked out well, but... No, I, th I was with you because it was like, oh, look, here's some weird thing. You know, of course, you know, my character in your game has a bag, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but, you know, I, I, I didn't I also... catch that you it was inside out. I totally did yeah. not catch that until Antixo said so. In, yeah. in fifth edition, I also handle my bag with a holding a little bit different uh, in the sense... Um, the weight, you know, the weight is constant, um, but the bag, how it billows out is kind of an indication of how full it is. Yeah. So when you first find an empty bag, it's just laying there flat, but it weighs nice. 10 pounds. You know, the, the fifth edition weighs 10 pounds anyways. 
Well, this one weighs more, lighter. so that, or, you know. Or 15. No, it's 15 pounds. Yeah, 15 pounds. But, um. Oh, there's only one kind of fifth edition? Uh, not officially, no. Um, some people br bring in the, you know, 3.5 or 4th edition bags in. I mean, of course, can DM can set up magic items however the hell he wants, but. Yeah. I'm just but... talking about published. Right. Not homebrew, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's why I was like, meta? Meta much? You know? But, My character well, doesn't know squat about bags of holding. She's never heard yeah. of such a thing. Yeah. Well, the magic users, you know, they might have you know, some, some kind of clue. Something is weird like that. with this bag. Yeah, but not a freaking priest of artists. I mean, she's never heard no, of No, no, not you. I mean, yeah. And, and I'm not sure who you had directed the meta comment to. Um, Oh, Zed. I didn't pick up on that. So. Yeah, Zed for sure. Yeah, he was like, yeah, it's not a... That's point five eight, I mean, um, there's a lot more varieties of them. Um, this is kind of why I'm glad that I haven't really, until I started playing with Elaine and Michael last year, I hadn't, uh, you know, played D and D in like 25 years because you forget everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you forget. I, he was Michael was like roll initiative, and I rolled a d10, and I rolled a one, and I, I went crap. It's like no good. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but you remember Elaine? I was like, oh man. He's like, no, that's that's what you yeah. want to roll. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You forget everything, but you know, you don't forget how to RP. I mean, that's consistent. That's so. the same We're in not, every edition, yeah. 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 And we're not done in here. I imagine we need to go back and destroy all yeah. that um, evil stuff. The uh, the whole oh, yeah. device that captures souls or whatever. Oh, you're that's not going to want to leave that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we freed the souls that were in there, but that. I don't know. Do we have any blacksmiths uh, here that knows anything more about that anvil? It seems pretty Edward. interesting. Edward, yeah. Edward can yeah. figure out more about what's up with that anvil. But yeah, yeah. Is that uh, what I mean, like? Edward's a stonemason, not stone. A oh, stonemason. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I forgot.